Welcome to my channel, Christina Light. My name is Shar. Thanks for being here, guys. Sorry, I've been MIA. Really technical difficulties, as a lot of YouTubers have had. I guess with Mercury and Scorpio, you know, Uranus and Taurus. There's a lot of like the energy is very strong, guys. So this is a Scorpio. Happy birthday to the Scorpios. Um, so this is your November reading. So doing it on the fifth, but time is fluid. Um, the message I want to give to everyone is to keep thriving no matter what. I know it's election times right now, but no matter what is going on around you, you should never stop thriving. Okay, guys? So we have a bunch of oracles. We're getting serious here. Um, we're going to start with the Halloween oracle, although it's not Halloween anymore. You know, but it's okay. It's a beautiful oracle. And then oh, we get, I got a bunch of whole bunch of other oracles, and um, then we can clarify if necessary with the uh, Luscarbero Mini Tarot. Let's light some sage here if this lighter would let me. I did sage a little bit already, but let's just put some more sage. It's very important to clear your mind, your energy. There's so much noise, you know, around so. Focus, focus. I want to say focus, focus, okay? Scorpio, so the sun is in your sign. We're going to get a new moon in Scorpio on the 19th. Sorry, on the 15th. The 14 or 15, depending on where you are. So, new moons are when the sun and the moon meet. So, what else is going on? Mercury's in Scorpio. Um, digging deep. Your ruler Pluto is in Capricorn with Jupiter and Saturn, which is your third house. So communication, yes, definitely revelations for you guys, Scorpio. Um, epiphanies, aha moments. Mars is going to be pretty soon in Aries, your ancient ruler Mars, okay? So all the planets are coming directly soon, and we all... We, we'll, and this month, and um, you know, retrograde in Taurus, and uh, next June will be also going direct and in November. So we had this full moon in Taurus with Uranus retrograde. So that was pretty powerful. It was on Halloween. So guys, lots of revelations are coming. We're, we're pretty much, you know, we're hitting the turning point here. guys um so about for you guys scorpio it's more about communication i feel um your opposite is towards you know, the full moon again which is all about revelations and completions with you in this retrograde so seeking searching investigating um looking for answers then let's not forget the south node is in sag your second house and the North Node is in Gemini, which is your eighth house, right? So, Scorpio, this is about the depth. You guys are digging deep, okay, in a nutshell. Venus is in Libra, your 11th house. So, it could be about partnership, relationship, your social environment, your family. So, we have, oh, Barnbra, sweetness and synergy. Yeah, you guys are handling it pretty well. I really feel that, guys. Scorpio, you're in the zone. You're not. You're really going with the flow. You're listening. You're very attentive right now, I feel, for you guys. Which is pretty much your character anyway. You guys, you know, you love digging deep. So let's keep going. Now we're going to get a major arcana. Told you guys, this is a deep reading. We're all about the or. And like I said, we will clarify if needed with the tarot. This is the good good luck tarot. Hello. Good tarot by Colette Berry. This one it was by Stacy DeMarco. I will not know exactly who is the deck, but I know all the authors of the deck later. Some of them are from Italy. Um Stacy DeMarco. And this is uh Colette Berry. So let's get a major arcana. I only took the major arcanas. 
is we're all going through transformation, major, major cycles, endings, and beginnings. Okay. So let's see. For Scorpio spirit from the good tarot, major kind of for Scorpio, major kind of for Scorpio. Kind of for Scorpio spirit. Strength, eight Leo energy. <clears throat> Going with the flow, I feel like this is the people looking for strength with, you know, they're, they're looking for your support. That's what I feel with this strength card. People find you very um, balanced right now, Scorpio. I mean, you're very solicited. Obviously, it's your birthday season, um, you know, so you might be getting calls, like I said. People might want you to take sides in arguments. Be careful of that. Um, you might get revelations, like people coming to you with their secrets, which you love, which you love, right? But be careful. Be careful not to get too involved with other people's drama, Scorpio. This is what I feel with this card, okay? With the strength card. Let's keep going. Let's get now a moon oracle. Well, let's see what this strength is about. Let's see what this strength is about. Let's clarify with the tarot. I'm curious to see what this is about. I feel like it's not you, you know, because the strength card calls for like, you know, deep spiritually and kind of like having courage to face something. So when you have, you know, summoning something, there's kind of a, how do you say this? Worry, right? But I don't think you're worried, Scorpio. You're very, you know, it says sweetness and synergy. So you're balanced, you're grounded, um, you're, you're present, you're present. Okay, let's keep going. Let's clarify with the tarot spirit for Scorpio. Let's clarify the strength card for Scorpio. What do we have? Strength card. Let's clarify the strength card for Scorpio spirit. What is the strength card for Scorpio? What is this strength card? Shuffle while I shuffle. Standing in your power, basically, Scorpio, you are. Um... Or a um, increase in um, knowing, wisdom, clarity. Okay. Paragraph one. Two of Wands. Yeah. The card that fell is the Eight. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Like I said, it's not your energy. It's other people's energy. One more spirit. People feeling. Wow, that's a lot of cards that flipped. We're not going to take them. Going one more card spirit for Scorpio for the strength card. Keep flipping now. Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is worried about their money. You guys deal with other people's money as well. So you guys, some of you might be um, into finances and people are coming to you. They're worried about their money, Scorpio. So we have the... Uh, the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's coming to you with worry about their money, Scorpio. They're coming for financial advice. It could be your spouse, other people's money, your spouse, family members, your clients, okay? Somebody def definitely is worried about money or um, just assets. You know, it could be a home, an apartment, living situation. And then we have... 
the two of wands and the hermit hermit is wisdom it's virgo energy so i feel like yeah you're giving advice here you you're an advisor you guys this your role this month like i said you're very swift people are calling for advice any type of advice pertaining to pentacles which is about tangible stuff could be money could be advice maybe some of your realtors maybe some of you it's, it has to do with investment you know investing in a home investing in stocks investing in um a business keep you're an, you're, you're an advisor this month scorpio but um, lit, um litigations i'm hearing litigations are some of you lawyers Like it's gonna be very important for uh, for you to not um, you know be the sponge to other people's insecurities and fears because you guys feel that innately you guys are a water sign you guys deal with death and rebirth you go deep you know people's darkest secrets you know so just don't be a sponge enjoy your birthday month that's what I can tell you Scorpio okay now let's get a moon oracle from also Stacy DeMarco. Yeah. Oh, people are coming to you with their problems. Let me just say that, Scorpio. Okay. But uh, don't cut your arm off, basically, for them. Uh, boundaries, right? Like, uh, keep an open mind. Um, don't, um, don't get sucked in. You usually don't, but uh, because of the times we are in right now, and Mercury making you even more curious, you might be, mm -hmm, attraction, you might be compelled to get too deep. You might like it too much. You might like it too much, you know? And it might interfere with your own energy. Because you guys like investigating. You like, you know, I'm not saying you like other people's problems or anything, but it fascinates you. It fascinates you. People's um, fears fascinates you. you. You're fascinated by investigation. You're fascinated by discovery, research, and all that stuff. Don't get caught too caught in, you know, don't get too caught up, sorry, in it. Okay, Scorpio? Attraction. Because then you might take on their energy. And I don't think, you know, nobody wants to take other people's energy and their problems. Enough energy of our own to deal with. Okay. Now, let's get into the house cards. House, planet. So you might be uh, dealing with a Leo, Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's see what else. Might be, could be any sign. Let's see what else we get for Scorpio November. Spirit. Scorpio November. Alright, <clears throat> Scorpio November, please. My nose is itching. That was quick. Sixth house. House of service. What did it say? Virgo energy. Yeah, you might be dealing with a Virgo for sure. Sixth house is Virgo. Um, Virgo for you is... Um, sorry, my nose. Virgo for you is... Um, what the hell is that? So, Libra's your 12th. Well, Virgo's your 11th. Yep. I'm telling you guys, your environment... Your environment is very dare I say chaotic people are running around <clears throat> like their heads are there's chaos around you but you deal very well with chaos but the advice here is for you this time around it might be more chaotic than you're used to so be careful okay Scorpio so it says the work health and duty area of your life yeah, for, you, for a lot of you, this is about um, um, your, your career. This is about your career. You guys are either your advisors, financial, lawyers, uh, real estate agents, 
you sir you give you, you there's you're in some kind of service okay basically like you're not an artist you're in service in the service uh, area here so you advise people on you sell homes or proper you know property you sell stocks you're a lawyer you're a financial advisor banker assets you deal with other people's money which is your you all day <clears throat> but people right now are in fear around you there is chaos around you it is very important that you stay in synergy all right now let's get a um, crystal this is a Rochelle Charmin, the crystal or oracle, my first deck. It's so attached to this deck. Let's see what we get for Scorpio. Beautiful, powerful Scorpio. Yeah, you might be overwhelmed, but more it will give you that um, clarity and it's going direct in um, Aries right which is your six house service mm. so guys dreams the downloads you guys are having downloads for Kermit Diamond you guys are definitely you're, you will get clarity with Mars going direct basically like I was saying um, on a situation, like I said, this is more chaotic than you're used to Scorpio. It might create some kind of anxiety <clears throat> because people are just like, like I said, it's like their head is cut off and you're like, whoa, 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 guys. That much pressure and, but you will get answers. Just keep, stay balanced. Make sure you are balanced and you don't get sucked in. Listen to your intuition. Mercury in your sign is helping you with that, with clarity. Okay. Weigh the pros and cons. Pay attention to the details. You do, but 200%. pay 200% to the details. And keeping your synergy, keeping your balance is a very important. And when you're at work or after you get off a conversation on the phone or whatever, it's important for you at a certain point to detach, to, to, to turn off your phone and to clear your mind, you know, so you don't get sucked in and it doesn't get like a, you know, the, do the monkey mind. You know what I mean, Scorpio? Very important. Now, let's get a... I don't know if I'm gonna get a starseed oracle. No, I'm not feeling the Starseed Oracle. I'm just going to get a door to, a, what is it called? Doors. Oracle of doors. Or door something doors. Sorry, guys. I don't have the box. They're these little cute cards I just got, you know. Let's call it a door oracle. Why not? Let's see. I've got a door for you for advice. I'm not feeling it for this November readings. That's what I plan on doing. But I'm not feeling it. Wow. Well, as I did the tarot, the high priestess. Yep. It's very important for you to pull back your energy and go within and not get too involved. divulge too much about your personal life like don't use your personal experience as an example when advising, you know when advising um, these clients or family members or friends don't give too much Scorpio you know don't divulge too much. Be your secretive self that you know how to be. I'm telling you, they're going to push you. It's going to be overwhelming. Okay. All right. 
Say hi, vibe. Keep that vibe. <clears throat> it's got a door for Scorpio. Keep the vibe in this chaos. High vibe in chaos. I want to call this reading. So your door is this card right here. Beautiful. It says distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it. So must it be. Again, the distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it. So must it be. So this might be somebody from a, like that's uh, far away from you. Um, it could be a family member who's freaking out. Maybe you guys are not in the States and a family member is in the States and is freaking out because it's election time right now. Or, you know, you guys are in the same, in the States, but in a different city also. So, pay attention to your dreams. Whatever you're looking for, there's something in there with your dreams somehow. An answer. And um, if you're missing, this has nothing to do with reading, but I feel like some of you are missing somebody, although there's no love on the table, but you might be missing your family. Okay? Give them a call. <laughs> they might spill their drama on you, right? But if you're missing somebody, Scorpio, reach out. Chances are they're missing you too. Okay, that was a message totally apart from this. That's what I felt with this card, okay? If you're missing somebody, reach, reach out, okay? All right, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, guys. Um, Scorpio, remember, synergy, balance, boundaries. Okay, love you guys. Bye.